Hello everyone. So today we will discuss the ozone formation from glucose, mannose and fructose and we will discuss the amidory arrangement and uh, you can see this is glucose and glucose uh, when this is treated with the phenylhydrazine excess of phenylhydrazine it gives osazone glucosazone when mannose is treated with the same in excess this will give uh, mannosazone and when fructose is treated with the excess of phenylhydrazone it also give gives the same fructosazone and all three are the same osazone because in all three you can see there is only difference between these two this is this is aldehyde group here this is aldehyde group and this oh group is being involved here so the reaction is between these two carbon one and two so here because uh, these glucose and mannose are the epimers C2 epimers which differ in configuration about only C2 so uh, these uh, after giving osazone so this, uh, this this chiral center has been destroyed due to the formation of this uh, hydrazone at two position so this uh, because of the this uh, destroyed chiral center because both of uh, them will give the same osazone similarly when we take the fructose so you can see in the fructose there is ketonic group at the two position and here also this will give the one two base phenylhydrazone this is called the osazone and this uh, rest of the structure is same similar to glucose and mannose so all three will give the same osazone now we will take one by one means how the reaction take place and what is the mechanism that we will discuss so uh, this uh, mechanism that was giving uh, that was uh, given uh, to explain the this ozone formation this mechanism is called the vegan mechanism vegan mechanism and this uh, this uh, this uh, there is the amidory arrangement in that mechanism we will see so first step will be when uh, the axis this phenyl hydrazine when phenyl hydrazine react with this this will give there will be addition then elimination and finally we will get this uh, n nh and ph and this is H and OH and rest of the structure we can write this way and next now this can rearrange after totomerization and this will give like CH and this is NH here double bond and this O and this is H and here and H and pH so here you can see there will be hydrogen bonding and it will form the chelate six member which is the stable chelate here and now the second step this was the first step now this is the second step and this is basically amidory rearrangement this is amidory arrangement and what is this this in this chelate six member ring there will be this rearrangement and there will be removal of this uh, aniline molecule pH NH pH NH2 not this and uh, we will get this CH double bond NH and here C double bond O this is the rest of the structure and then we will treat it again with the another molecule second molecule of phenyl hydrazine and there also will be the addition elimination reaction overall uh, this uh, you can see substitution double bond and H and C double bond and NH pH and here the rest of the structure we need not to write again and again we will write the full structure in the last and now the third molecule of phenyl hydrazine will react here 
note this at this carbon and there will be again addition and elimination reaction finally there will be the removal of ammonia ammonia molecule here and uh, we will get the this CH double bond and NH pH and C double bond and NH pH and we will draw the rest of the molecule the complete structure so this is D glucosa zone so this is also zone and you can see also zone is the 1 2 base phenyl hydrazone so there is the phenyl hydrazone group at the c1 and c2 so similarly we can uh, give the mechanism of ozone formation from d mannose in d mannose uh, that is the c2 epimer of glucose we have discussed in the uh, last video and uh, there is uh, this oh is on the left hand side there so the same mechanism will uh, uh, take place and here that will give this same osazone that will be called the manosazone right and now the we will discuss the osazone formation mechanism of osazone formation from d fructose so this is the d fructose this is the two ketos and uh, ketohexose so here also the first step will be the reaction with first molecule of phenyl hydrazine so there will be nucleophilic addition and elimination and removal of water we are not showing the complete reaction because we have to show the amido rearrangement and uh, here we can uh, write this all the groups of CH2OH openly and uh, this will give N, NH and PH and here we can write this way and now this will rearrange and there will be totomerization and now you can see this we can write it this way and H and this is pH so here this hydrogen involved is at C1 OH and rest of the molecule we can write this way and now that this is the second step which is the amidori rearrangement so in this amidori rearrangement this will bond will shift here this here and this will get this proton this hydrogen as a proton there will be removal of aniline and this will be like aldehyde group and now you can see imine here and rest of the molecule so this was first group has been oxidized by this rearrangement uh, the, similarly this in, in case of glucose that C2 group was C2 OH group was oxidized here the C1 the primary alcoholic group has been oxidized and now there will be uh, next this will react with the second molecule of phenyl hydrazine and that will form the phenyl hydrazone with the uh, along with removal of this uh, water molecule and uh, this will give phenyl hydrazone and this is amine in the next step the third molecule of phenylhydrazine will replace this amine and will form the hydrazone and there will be the removal elimination of ammonia and we will get this phenylhydrazone one to this phenylhydrazone now in the last we will draw the complete structure and this because we are preparing it from fructose this will be fructosa zone fructosa zone or we can say that this is the osazone of fructose and all three osazones are same means fructosa zone menosa zone and d glucosa zone all osazone are same so means 
epimers give the same osazone and even the ketose one ketose also can give the same osazone right now uh, now there is a question that uh, we have seen here the in the in case of glucose this in case of glucose this uh, there was this at second position there was a secondary alcoholic group now the two moles of phenyl hydrazone are forming the phenyl hydrazone but the one molecule of this phenyl hydrazone is being consumed here for the oxidation of the second alcoholic group into the ketonic group so that's why the three moles of phenyl hydrazones are being consumed here similarly in case of uh, fructose you can see the first group primary alcoholic group has been oxidized into aldehyde group now the other two phenyl hydrazine groups are uh, for the phenyl one two bis phenyl hydrazone and one molecule is being consumed uh, for the oxidation of this primary alcoholic group due to the amido rearrangement and now the question is if this tautomerization and this rearrangement can take place up to two one and two position then it it should go further to the last uh, carbon so it should have been given the uh, one two three four five six uh, six hexakis phenyl hydrazone so this gives only osazone uh, this gives only osazone that is the one two bis phenyl hydrazone not the this rearrangement uh, doesn't go further up to the last terminal carbon this is the six carbon otherwise it would have been given this uh, this hexakis uh, phenyl hydrazone so reason is that reason that this uh, given by the feeser and feeser f i e s e r feeser and feeser gave the reason he proposed they proposed the two structures first and second and for this and uh, according to this this phenyl osa this osa zone that which is the one to this phenyl hydrazone which is stabilized by chelation so in the chelation this is the ring is the six membered which is more stable and here you can see this hydrogen of the uh, second uh, position phenyl hydrazone is being involved here and in this structure second structure the hydrogen of the c1 uh, phenyl hydrazone group is being involved here but uh, the master also believe that okay this uh, this is due to this uh, feeser this first structure so according to master that also believe that first one is correct but blair according to blair, blair at all the neither this first and nor this second structure is correct both are wrong according to blair uh, uh, he gave the he proposed a third structure on the basis of uh chemical reactions ir spectra uv spectra etc and uh, he, he proposed this third structure according to that the this structure is basically uh to this phenyl as a group phenyl as a group this is the phenyl as a group at the c2 position this is structure having two phenyl as a group at the two c2 position that will be the structure in solid state in solid state and in the solution that will be in like equilibrium with the open chain structure and what is the open chain structure that is the ch double bond n nh ph and this is c double bond n nh ph and rest of the structure ch oh ch oh ch oh and ch2 oh so here you can see this OH in this structure this OH is taking part and forming the oxide ring so this oxide ring is being formed like this and there will this hydrogen will go to that nitro this uh, this nitrogen and this is this one and now another arrangement is this uh, this hydrogen is basically has gone to this carbon so you can see this double bond phenyl as a structure here and this hydrogen has been uh, migrated to this carbon so that's why this he proposed this structure according to him and he proved this structure by ir uv and different chemical reactions in the solid state and the solution this is in equilibrium 
with the open chain structure and which is this.